Hey guys, today we have another Transformer custom review. This time is for the MXC Optimus Ram from the Transformer Wrapped a bit. Specifically, this one is the slightly oversized KO version of the Studio Series 102 Optimus Ram from the Wrapped a bit movie. So in this case, you can see that it comes with the main figure along with all of the accessories down here. So we have two arm guns, two engine sword, one gun from the Bumblebee movie, one axe, and then a no ideas figure. So let's pull him closer to take a look at the details. As you can see it's in here, for example, the eyebrow for the truck mode in here is not just metallic silver anymore, but they have a little of gray and black brush silver on it. And I also have that brush going throughout the figures into the other part. So as you can see on the red part over the figures, they actually have kind of a layer of metallic silver and black blend it into some kind of gray color that's going throughout to highlight some of the details. Getting a little closer, you can see that all of this part, though their main colors do say the same, they have some um, silver, gray, and black highlight going through them. Specifically for the MXC Optimus Prime, those part originally they were red colors. Now that I repaint them, they have kind of a silver colors. Firstly, I just used black initially, and then silver cover on top of the black. And then finally, I use acrylic pen to brush over the permanent marker silver. Do the same thing on this right arm over here. Then take a look at the chest. For the chest in here, or the original figures also just have this middle part. It's bright black red plastic, just like all the plastic outside. So I also just paint that with permanent marker black and then brush it with the mixture between the silver and the gray metallic colors that give us that shape of colors just so that the black is not entirely black anymore and it will blend in better with the silver surrounding those areas of course the next area here is that's the original colors and then for the chest area or the abdominal area over here they also are the original colors pulls a little closer here at the head so we can see that the head also have that kind of highlight as well so it's not just the regular silver and blue but it's also have some kind of black and grayish colors going throughout it's a little hard to see but they're in there reflective you see that on there they also have that kind of black and grayish colors going throughout the mask as well i try to replicate their battle damage or just nerdiness over the figures from the CGI design. And then as we go down here, we see that of course like for those parts that's more visible, the grayish colors over just the red plastic. We also have that colors over the gun metallic silver down here, but this is a little harder to see. And look at the cross region here. We also have that kind of colors, but of course I didn't do it too much. Like, because I kind of like the silver more. So most of the parts stay the same down here. So for the side look, the most pathetic colors on here will be the smoke tags. I try to not keep the smoke tag to reflective silver, but I have that kind of similar ray and blackish going out over this piece that you can see in here that's showing on the camera. So we also have that kind of black and grayish colors over the smoke tag as well. Just try to make the smoke sack stand out a little bit and then the colors i wanted to mix well with the chest colors that we have in here silver and a little of grayish and blackish brush in the back of the figures we also have that part grayish and blackish color going through out over the silver part I'm trying to highlight the details this will be a little more visible up here and you can see that in the crack now that they have their black and grayish colors going through there. So initially they just are all black plastic region in here. But now that we put the black and grayish colors in there, they kind of highlight the part. And I think I like that look really much. And then for this figure, when we look top down, we'll see that they also have those shoulder part here. Initially they were just red plastic. So I also just use permanent mica black to cover over those parts. And then use the permanent market silver to cover the black color and just use acrylic silver paint to brush over them so overall that's how it look like right now and i think let's make him more accurate to the cgi model because if optimus always looks so dirty and better damage all over especially when he's in battle 
here side look at the figures the back of the figures and here is the other side and then the front again overall i think this figure is a very good figure although the downside is that he's too big i feel like he's too big for any of the studio series figures so for example if we put in Bavis bumblebee Bavis bumblebee is just way too small in comparison to this optimus from here or even the Bavis optimus is too short in comparison to this optimus so he just towered over multiplayer Bavis figures in the studio series and because the Bayverse figure is supposed to be even bigger than the Rob the Beast verse or the Bumblebee movie verse, let's make this figure even more out of scale. But as a standalone figure, he's a very quality figure. Like he's big for the price. Of course, he's come with a lot of accessories. So we have the two Energon sword here. They are just silver colors. And then we have a shotgun from the Bumblebee movie. And then two Armageddon from the Ride the Beast movie. Yeah, so I also custom painted this guy. So that's why now he look on silver like this. And I think after custom painting them, they look very well. Let me know what you think in the comment. If you want to learn how to custom paint your figures, I actually do have a tutorial for how to custom paint this specific figure with step by step. And all the material that I use as well, including their permanent marker, silver and black. Then the acrylic paint. I use Sergeant Art acrylic silver. Then Sergeant Art acrylic black. And then I use four art metallic colors. And then I use a tiny bit of rusty colors. With those colors, one, you can follow my specific task step in the tutorial. You can make your figures look like this as well. Good luck with some painting. Hey. You, yes, you, subscribe to our channel, please, otherwise, Megatron may kill me again. And no, I'm not kidding. He's right there. Hey, Josh. So please, subscribe. I don't want to be back in two pieces. Your subscription means a lot to us.